Howdy brothers and sisters out there in YouTube land. This here is Grateful Panic and I've got another video for you guys today. And today we're going to be checking out two knives from Monterey Bay Knives. We're going to take a look at the EZC and the Min Pin. So stick around guys. Alright guys, so like I said, we are going to be taking a look at these two knives right here uh, from Monterey Bay Knives. And these knives were uh, provided by MBK to uh, pass around to several reviewers and uh, have us give our take on them and our likes and dislikes. So thank you to uh, Monterey Bay Knives. And uh, before we get into that... There really isn't much of a panic dump because I was kind of lounging around on the couch today in sweatpants. and uh, The only knife I really had on me was the Griptilian. I did a, had to do a little bit of cutting, so I grabbed that guy. That was the first knife available. Uh, and I'm not really drinking on anything because I <clears throat> wasn't feeling good today, So which is why I was lounging around in sweatpants. I was sicky-poo. Um, but uh, one little piece of news is the wonderful uh, Mrs. Panic painted us up a rock. She was doing a little art projects with the with the kid the other day, and she painted a rock for the board. So we now have the the GP family sorcerer stone up there in the corner. Um, and uh, I guess that means it's time to get down to the nitty gritty, guys. And uh, like I said, we're going to be talking about these two knives from Monterey Bay Knives. And what Monterey Bay Knives is, it's uh, Ray Laconico and Owen Sanford. And I have no idea. I'm really sorry. I tried to do some research and I really couldn't find anything on him uh, on the internet. So if you guys know anything about Owen Sanford, please chime in. I'm more than... Uh, be more than happy to learn a little bit about him. Uh, we know uh, Ray Laconico from, you know, he's designed a bunch of knives. I mean, he's designed a bunch of knives of his own right, but he's designed, you know, several knives for Kaiser, like the Gemini. Um, in my opinion, he's, you know, awesome designer, very, very modern, but still like minimalistic. Um, so I was, you know, really, really excited to be able to take a look at these guys so let's go ahead and get the boring stuff out of the way and get these uh these dimensions these specifications out of the way so we can get down to the uh, meat and taters of the matter and we're going to start out with the men pin and uh, the men pin has an overall length of six and a half inches We've got a blade length of three inches a handle length of four inches and we have a blade thickness of 160 thousandths. And I don't know if you can see it, but there is the uh, maker's mark right there on the back, just a R Laconico. Um, <clears throat> we've got a blade material of S35VN. Uh, the handle material is titanium. It's got a, a milled titanium pocket clip. That's really springy. And we have a backspacer of carbon fiber. Um, Weight-wise, they're saying 2.8 ounces. So we'll get out our new handy-dandy scale, and hopefully it'll be trusty. Hello. And we are on grams, so I guess we're going to do grams first. I'm looking at 85.9 grams. And I skipped ounces like a, a Momo. And I'm showing 3.2 ounces. They're saying 2.8. 3.2 all day long. Alrighty. Go bye-bye for now. You can say hello again in a little while. Um, actually, let's go ahead and we'll get the uh, specs out of the way on this 
this easy C as well. And the easy C stands for easy carry, which I thought was kind of cool. Uh, but the easy C has an overall length of six and three quarter inches. Got a blade length of three inches. <clears throat> I got a blade thickness of 120 thousandths. And again, right there on the spine of the knife, it's just a simple R Laconico, which I think that's pretty cool. Um, we got a handle length, huh, oh, of four inches, okay, and the blade material again is S35VN, uh, the handle material is titanium, and the backspacer is titanium, and it's saying again 2.8 ounces on this guy, so let's see what Roscoe here has to say. Hello. He's very friendly, this guy. 3.2 ounces again. So, either Roscoe is off. Three point two ounces. Either Roscoe is off or their weight is off. Let's get some grams for our friends from across the pond. And again we're looking at eighty five point nine grams. All right, say goodbye, Roscoe. Um, all right, let's give a, go ahead and do give you guys my opinion of this men pin here. Visually, I think it's pretty stinking stunning looking. I love, I love that clip point blade. I mean, that is a beautiful clip point blade. Big old beefy, just a nasty looking swedge there, and I think that looks really really cool. And the information I'm getting is that this is a bead blast finish. It is a, it is machine polished, but, and I know the the camera really doesn't do it justice, but if you see it up close, it, I mean, they did such a good job on that, uh, that bead blast. It looks like a hand po polished finish. And then your, all your flats are satin polished with the, uh, the grind lines going this way so it looks really really cool I think that's a cool contrast and the handle shape I think is is pretty awesome as well now the only um, issues I have with this knife and I'm sure there's simple things that could be fixed no problem um, one it has you know a pretty good bit of blade play but since this is a you know a factory knife it's not my knife I'm not gonna mess with the pivot at all so I have not adjusted the pivot to see if I could get uh, that blade play out and also the centering it favors the show side a good little bit which again I think that could probably be fixed with uh, adjusting the pivot um and then the other issue that I have is that one and I know this issue is being fixed because the batch that came of, of the men pins that came after these um, are going to have a stainless steel insert but this one doesn't have a stainless steel insert so with that titanium on steel you get a little bit of, of lock stick and then which this is kind of strange to me because feeling it with my hand there's no sharp edges I mean there's some pretty pretty cool really fine chamfering all the way around but holding it in hand it's it's just a little hot spotty and especially that flipper tab when uh, you deploy this knife, that flipper tab kind of, the point just kind of digs into my fingers and it's not really comfortable. So, but other than that, which I think, you know, it's, it's really minor issues, you know, it's, it's a, it's a decent knife. Um, the price, it's a little bit more than I would want to pay. Uh, this one goes for two twenty five, I believe. And I'm just, I'm not looking to pay. Uh, that much for you know this sort of knife I mean I think it's an awesome knife and you know a lot of people that's right up their alley and that's right in their uh, budget range just you know not so much for me now as far as the easy C this one so it's got a nice drop point blade and it's a the blade is a stone wash finish and it's a really really attractive stone wash just like I mean just like the bead blast on the men pin I was really really attractive this the stone wash on the EZC is absolutely phenomenal. And the ergonomics, and it's funny because, I mean, this is just a 
just a block. The handle's just a straight block with rounded ends. And it's very comfortable. I mean, it just feels really, really good in hand. Uh, it's, you know, to me, it's it's a perfect little, uh, it is an easy carry knife. It's a perfect little EDC knife. Um, the action on both of these is uh, pretty phenomenal. They're both riding on ceramic bearings. Um, and yeah, I mean, just, and these are definitely probably not broken in because I know only a couple of people have handled them since they came from the factory. So, <clears throat> you know, taking them apart, uh, oiling them up a little bit, getting them good and clean, I'm sure the action will be even more phenomenal. But as it stands, you know, pretty much straight from the factory, the action is great. Um, and personally, I do prefer the EZC over the men pen and that's just my opinion I love the looks of this guy but it's just something about the way it feels in hand I'm not a, a huge fan of um, and both this one I think goes for $180 which still that's a little bit pricey for me to pay for one of uh, a knife of this this sort because and honestly I'm not a huge fan of of uh, full titanium handles anyway if, if I'm gonna have a titanium handle I'd love to have some micarta or carbon fiber inlays to kind of break up that that gray um and it just the micarta makes it feel a little bit or more organic in my hand but uh all in all I mean these are great knives uh, they're, they're not my you know cup of tea but they're uh, absolutely phenomenal knives I, I you know I would not have any problem at all recommending these to you know someone that enjoys these type of knives and is looking to pay you know the prices which i'm not saying that they're not worth the money um it's just not the type of knife i would pay that kind of money for so uh all in all i mean these are great knives uh i would definitely uh especially with the few little issues fixed on this men pin i would definitely give them the grateful panic seal of approval which as we all know is one and three quarters thumbs up so uh, with that being said guys uh, that's about all I have for you on these Monterey Bay knives um I want to say thank you big thank you to uh, Ray Laconico and Sanford Owen for sending these out for us to check out um, otherwise I probably never would have uh, been able to experience these and also I want to uh, send a big big thank you out to uh, David from uh, Blade Banner uh, this guy is just, he's a powerhouse, man. I, I mean, I've said it before. He's just a huge ambassador for the knife community. And he's he goes above and beyond. Like, just being a part of this pass around is a little bit of group, or, or a little bit of uh, work. So I know, you know, heading it up and doing all the behind-the-scenes work is just, like, I don't know, a mind-blowing amount of work. So thank you, David, for that. Uh, I know me and all the other guys really, really appreciate you. You are definitely awesome in my book and i'm proud to have you as a grateful panic family member so with that being said guys uh thank you uh for all of you guys to or thank you to all of you guys for watching um i appreciate each and every one of you and uh, this is grateful panic signing off and remember guys stay alert stay alive and hey how about do something nice for somebody today thanks guys bye bye you wouldn't go. I'd love to take you, but I know the way you roll. You see it your way, I see it mine, and I'll be fine.